Welcome to the series where I test out the OSR's wiki money making guides. I started this series almost a year ago and since then we've tried out multiple methods even if they're a little silly such as picking bananas or even flax. If you enjoy these types of videos then feel free to check out the playlist that I've made for them and feel free to leave a suggestion down in the comments for a method that you'd like to see tested. With that being said, let's get into the video. So for today's moneymaker, we'll be taking a look at one of the first moneymakers that some people do whenever they first get into the game, including me, and that is to kill cows and tan the cowhide. I figured this would be a good change of pace since the last couple of videos have been pretty high profit, so we'll take a look at one of the lower ends. As you can see here, it's less than 100k an hour, but the requirements are very low. And this is perfect for anyone in free to play and anyone who is looking for a nice moneymaker to start off with. Now there are two separate moneymakers on the wiki for this type of method. There's the one where you can just collect the cowhides that are left on the ground by other people that are killing them. And then there's the one where you kill the cows yourself and then pick up the cowhide then. So I decided to do that one just because I didn't want to have to rely on anybody else. But later on throughout the video, you'll see that some people did show up and kill the cows and didn't pick up the cowhide. So that was just more cowhide for me to collect. Now as for the gear setup, it is very simple. All I'm going to be bringing is the rune skimmy and the strength amulets. And again, this isn't free to play, so I'm not going to be using anything that is members. I'll even be in a free to play world, as I'll show you later on. But yeah, this is pretty much all you need. Also, you'll need some gold coins to tan the cowhide that you're picking up. And if you don't have the quest Prince Alley Rescue done, then you'll need 10 GP every time to make it through the gate. If you're lower level, you could bring armor, but just remember it's going to make you heavier, which will drain your stamina a whole lot faster. Now, as for where to kill these cows, there's two separate locations. There's one north of the Lumbridge Castle, and then there's one towards the northeast. I'll be using the one towards the northeast, but before doing this, I did test out to see what the times were like running from each area. And the one that is directly north of the castle is slightly closer, which means you'll get there. I think it was like, like two seconds faster whenever I did the test. But since we are tanning the cowhide after picking it up in Al Karid, I tested to see how far away that was and the one in Al Karid is actually closer than the one in Lumbridge Castle. So if you have that quest done where you get free access past that gate into Al Karid, then definitely use that one, especially since the tanner is on the way to the bank. And as you can see here, I am using world 483, which is a free to play world and it is not a skill total world. And as you can see here, it was pretty empty in the beginning, so it shouldn't be that hard to find an empty world. I was a little worried at first because I thought that there was going to be a whole lot of bots in every single world, but it didn't take me long to find that one, so that's good. Now as for the moneymaker, it is very straightforward. All you're going to be doing is killing these cows for the one hour, picking up the cowhide, and then once you have a full inventory, you'll run south past the gate. And then you'll continue south until you run into the tanner where you tan the full inventory for 1 GP for each cowhide. And then continue running south and bank all of the leather. Once you've banked the leather, then simply return to the cow pen and repeat the process. Now you can turn the cowhide into hard leather as well. But right now, with the way prices are, it is more profitable to turn it into leather. Also, whenever you turn cowhide into hard leather, it requires 3 GP per cowhide instead of 1. Like I said earlier, you can bring armor if you are fairly low level and you are taking damage, but it might be worthwhile to instead bring an axe and a tinderbox. That way you can cut the surrounding trees and just make a fire and cook the raw beef that the cows drop. Because if you bring armor, it's just a whole lot more weight and your stamina will be reduced even faster than what it is without armor on. And you'll notice that once you have a full inventory of cowhide, the stamina will drain a lot faster because it's actually pretty heavy. I think I was over 60 kilograms whenever I had a full inventory of this. Now, if you don't have any money at all, whenever you choose to start this money maker, then you can just simply collect the cowhides and then sell them off. And then once you have enough money, you can use that to tan the cowhides for more profit. Or you can just keep collecting cowhides and not even bother tanning them, whichever one suits you. But like I said, the bank in Al Karid is closer than the Lumbridge Castle Bank, so why not tan it on your way there? Now, I suppose you could use energy potions to cut down on the walking time, but I'm not sure if it's worth it because right now I think energy potions are around 475 coins. So I guess I'll leave it up to you whether it's worth it to spend your money on that and also it'll take up inventory space as well. So yeah, something to think about. 
As you saw with the gear setup early on, all I brought was the rune skimmy and the strength amulet. And again, this is a very low level moneymaker and these cows only have 8 HP or 6 if you, if you decide to kill the, uh, the younger ones. So because of that, apparently a level 20 with a mithril skimmy can pretty much kill these cows as fast as a higher level person with higher level gear. But even with maxed out stats and the best free to play weapon here, um, yeah, we still didn't one hit every single cow. Sometimes it took two hits, sometimes three, maybe even four on some of them. But uh, yeah, that's the game that we play. It's all RNG. Now, if for some reason you can't find an empty world here in Lumbridge to kill these cows, you could always go to the cow pen in Falador and kill them there and bank the cow hides there in Falador. Uh, you can pretty much just stack up as many as you want and then whenever you're ready to tan them, you can bring them over here to Alcarid. Now obviously this moneymaker is very nostalgic and it brought back a whole lot of memories while I was doing it. I remember coming here when I first started playing and swinging my bronze two hand sword around like I was some sort of king. I think I did eventually upgrade to a mithril dagger from the Varrock sword shop though. Doing this moneymaker really made me miss how fun the game was back then. I mean it was a brand new adventure and none of us really knew how to play efficiently. So uh, we were all just having a good old time. And if I'm being honest, to this day, I still don't even play super efficiently, so again, it's all about enjoying the ride. So as I'm sure you've already noticed, some people did show up towards the second half of the video. Uh, some kind strangers decided to train here and not pick up any of the cowhide while they were killing these cows. Now, whether these strangers were human or simply robots, I'm not sure, but I was thankful either way. It was just more GP in my pocket. One important thing to note is that not only can you get money from these cow hides that you find, but they also drop bones which you could bury, you know, if you wanted to, to get some extra prey or XP. It's not a lot, but, you know, it, it adds up over time. And then of course the beef, we already talked about that, you can just use that to sustain yourself while you're there. But yep, after one hour we did manage to get 378 cow hides tanned for a value of around 70,000 GP. That is a whole lot of money. Well, maybe to a free to play person. Those are some nice armor and weapon upgrades right there. Now I did decide to put them in there for 191 coins, but as you can see here, one of them did sell for 196 immediately. So you could possibly get more money than I did. If you're patient, feel free to leave them in there for a little bit higher so you can maximize your profit. It didn't take long for the rest of them to sell. I believe it took around like five minutes for all of them to sell. So yeah, not very long at all. We can now go ahead and calculate how much total profit we made from this one hour. It's gonna be a real simple calculation since we only spent a little bit of money on supplies, I guess you could say. So if we take the cost of supplies, which was just the money used to tan the cowhide, we have 378 GP. Subtract that from the money that we made, which was 72,203 GP. That gives us a grand total profit of 71,825 GP from one hour of killing these cows. Now, it's pretty accurate when compared to the wiki. Again, this was a mixture of the two methods. It was killing the cows and then, of course, collecting cow hides that were there uh, that were left by other people. So it wasn't planned, but it's just the way that it worked out. And honestly, that's probably the best way to do it because you can't really rely on people to kill the cows for you and leave the cow hide. We just happen to get lucky. Here's also a look at the XP that we got throughout this one hour. Around 9,000 strength XP and 3,000 hit points XP. And here's a look at the amount of kills we got through this one hour. As you can see, the calves drop the exact same thing that the cows do, and they only have 6 hit points. So you have a better chance of one hitting those, but of course it's going to net you less XP, but I don't think it really matters too much. I just want to say thanks for checking out the video and if you enjoyed it please consider giving it a thumbs up and maybe even a subscription and as always I will catch you guys in the next episode.